Hello everybody, XJoe81X, and on the tubes today, house project number nine. Fuck. I think ten is going to be painting, and maybe eleven is done, but probably ten. We'll see. So I'm making this video on my Samsung tablet today to whack things up. So the uh, drywall is done, the uh, spackle is done, the floor molding, crown molding, door, and window molding are all done. And that's what this video is going to show you today. Right here, we have where the drywall met the old. Feathered it out as best you can. Try to get you that angle. The house is naturally fucked up. And everything looks nice and they blended it in. Turn on the uh, fucking digital lights, and you come on down. Come on, come on, enter the radio on. Okay, so we'll start with the fact that the guy was here um, drywalling, sheetrocking, and um, spackling. Uh, today is August 19th, 2017, at upteen hours in the morning. Put the outlets back, that's phone and cable, that's the thermostat for the radiant heat that was already installed before I moved in, and all the outlets, no covers because of the paint. I put the AC vent back up, including the camera, this way I know that they worked. Yes, everything works. This is just bullshit, so no one sees in at night. And we'll start. Basic crown. This entire downstairs was just basic crown. The painter is going to be coming the day after Labor Day and caulking these seams very nicely, and then painting and priming and doing that. So there's, you know, seams up here and crown, 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 crown. It's cleared, yes, the house is not straight, but that cleared. This got skim coated because it was all shitty instead of ripping it down because I felt like the stairs, the drywall was behind the stairs. This had uh, nylon stickers on there. The first and the last step is natural wood and one, two, three, four. That gets lightly sanded and then primed. Everything gets spackled, uh, corked. Every little thing gets corked. Every little crevice the painter gets, every little thing will get corked. Everything gets cleaned. All the schmutz, you know, comes off eventually. Ah, uh, then we have the floor molding with a quarter round because the tile is not level with the house. You can see the gaps. Gap there. That was a big gap. This is actually um, the most decorative piece um, compared to the old video. The old one had a fucking like big piece like this that was brown. This is shot in. This is beveled. It's got to be sanded. And then he put um, cord around underneath. Everything's going to get glossy white. Glossy white. And then the crown and the floor get glossy white, and then the walls get primed, and then we'll, you know, pick a color out. Uh, Spackle guy did a great job with meeting um, the seams. If you, you could tell, all the seams are worked out almost two, three feet, because you know the walls are not straight. No house is straight, and if it is, uh, you know, whatever. So moving right along, this window stays. It'll get caulked and. Repainted and get rid of the brown. That's just the original bullshit. So we'll go to the other side. These are the lights I ended up with. One, two, one, two, three, and then one. Fan. Uh, this mirror is the piece we're using, but I installed it pre-painting, so we 
first of all, get it out of the way, but we also could uh, just f see if we like it or what colors match it because you kind of stuck with the tan tile. So let's crown all up in there. Just two screws. Contract the left wood back there. The risers, everything, whatever they're called, they all get white to match that, which was going upstairs. Continue with the floor, molding. Nothing crazy, everything gets taped and spackled. I keep saying taped and spackled. Fucking make these videos at like six in the morning in a fucking shot. <sighs> House is crooked. You can see right here. It's, yeah, house is crooked. Kind of goes up and down. Whatever. This is a new window, of course. Here's another ledge. The window was a little big, so he... Um, what'd he do? He put the ledge first and then just ripped the bottom. This way this would match. You know, this has to match. And then this is ripped. Another nice ledge. Like again, you know, everything gets caulked. This is just pre-paint for a couple of weeks. And then the house did something a little bit different. We got a big door. There's a piece right here to cover the gap. Got this, uh, just the, the way they did it, very odd. Like I said, when the house was originally built, there was a door here and then a wall. And then there was wall-to-wall -wall glass windows. And that's why it's half built out, half not. That's why this is higher than this because this has concrete behind it. This doesn't, at this point, who cares? So what he had to do was build out the top crown because the house is lower for some reason or the floor was built up, whatever. So instead of stopping the crown and then continuing, the contractor decided to bump out the crown and make a Komazi Gamma, which you see over there. You know, there's little things. You know, the houses are never straight. Like uh, this stops with a gap. And this doesn't. This has to be, you know. But then there was a piece of brick here, so he couldn't bring the wall that way. And like I said, down here is just get it done three way. This is what it looks like from this side. Yeah, well, not bad. You can see a little dip in the crown up there. Right there. Door stayed. Painter, you know, it's going to repaint it. Like I said, everything gets white. Da, 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 that gets cleaned up. And then there's like one little piece here that I'll have to fix because he didn't like shave the end and then push it in. Uh, once again, nice detail with the shelf. The bathroom got Wayne's coating. Mr. Wayne. One light up there, one light here. This is just for aesthetic purposes to see what it would look like with uh, the original pedestal that was taken out before I moved in. But Wayne's coating, that's obviously a five foot baseboard. That's just there to make sure this is not leaking. Because whatever, another shelf all around. Nice little shelf here to keep it going instead of stopping it. But I guess it'd have a lip for the wainscoting. Brought that and it actually worked out. That piece. That. Uh, what I would have liked to see is like maybe a beveled edge right here. Just like, you know, well, but you know, he left the molding exactly for a five foot baseboard with the end caps. So it doesn't look too big. Obviously it's for the toilet, window trim. We didn't do any crown in here because the window trim went up to the ceiling. It would have been too much, way too much. And he got lucky with this trim. It's gonna be a little bit weird because this is gonna be white 
and this is going to be white, but he got lucky. He didn't have to build it out. It just fit. Hmm. And um, the garage is basic, but it's part of the video, so we'll get her done. It's funny how it's like goes. It's nice and blue. I don't know. And then it goes yellow. <laughs> because we have just regular light bulbs in here. So, again, I added the quarter round because of the concrete and the gap. There was just so much of a gap because the drywall was just cut to get it done, of course. It was just too much. Too much. You could see I got a little problem down there. It's always spiders in this corner because down there is kind of goes outside. Oh, it really does. Maybe I could hit that one day. There's the fail safe that JK18 made where when you close this, it hits the button. And then if you're not home or something happens and you press the button, or you press this button, the motor doesn't go and then burn out because it's probably from the 70s or 80s. So that's very nice. They did actually a lot more than I thought. I thought they were going to just leave certain things. So they did the, the molding right here and they sheetrocked this. And he actually put a piece of sheetrock back there. I kind of told him he didn't have to. There was a couple pieces of wood. You can't tell. Um, like uh, once again, That's for the air hose. So that's a whole separate video, but you know, there's a whole bracket there. That's for the phone. This ended up turning nice. Really worked that out. Panel looks really nice. Like again, here's the thing. They dropped the tracks and the motor to put the uh, sheetrock up. This wall is 5 8 and the back wall is 5 8 Technically, everything's supposed to be 5 eighths, but the track is just making it. <laughs> uh, windows stayed brown if they get painted. No big deal. Whole cabinet's going to come here, and there's going to be... Okay, focus. There's going to be a stereo up there, and there's going to be a bench here. But... Um, Oh, the plumbing, the last but not least, is that pipe that was in here. Contractor's like, hey, I could box it out. You know, you'll have wood and all that bullshit. But if anything ever happens, you'd have to rip down the wood and it's going to be a mess. So what we decided to do is, well, him, is take a piece of sheetrock, put it at an angle, put some screws here and here, and then they make flex tape, which is, uh, you can see a little bit of it. And they taped it, and he feathered it in, and this is the end result. I think it's a great job. I think once it's painted, it's just all going to blend in. I'm going to be doing red up to the sill, matching it all around red, and then white. And then I'll do maybe a border another time. I'll probably, I don't even know. Doesn't matter. Maybe I'll get some of this stuff and then continue. Make like a border. Because right now he's got to meet the white and the red. So. Because I want to do a checker sticker. You could buy the sticker from like a kid, kid store. But if I go high, I'm going to have to like match this. So. We'll see. But that's it. That's the uh, house project video. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next fucking video. Maybe it'll be uh, paint prep, or maybe the painter actually be here. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, like I said, and take it easy.